Hi everyone and happy Valentine's Day. This video is going up on Valentine's Day, so I wish all of you so much love and joy today. And if nothing else, I wish you lots and lots of chocolate. And thank you guys so much for all of your comments and input on the outfit that I should wear tonight for Valentine's Day. I did tally up all of your comments and there was a lot of input. So if you guys want to see the winning outfit and what I'll be wearing tonight, definitely go find me on social media. It's the same everywhere, which is Vassal Beauty on Twitter, Instagram, Pinterest. And for the record, guys, I'm not actually going to see the movie Fifty Shades of Grey. That was a joke for the video. Although I did purchase the tickets for the sake of showing it in the video, and I was going to go return them, and I had mentioned it to my mom, and she's like, Oh, no, no. I'll take them off your hand if you're not going to use them. So, yes, my mother is going to see Fifty Shades of Grey tonight. So on to the topic of today's video, which is room organization. So you all know I have been really into organizing lately. I've just been going through room by room and reorganizing everything. And I think you guys do enjoy watching these types of videos. So if you do like this and you wanna see me do even more organization videos in the future, give this a thumbs up or leave it in the comments. So in my analysis of why things become so disorganized, I realized the number one problem happens the moment I walk in the door. The moment I walk into the door, the first thing I wanna do is just unload all of my crap. I wanna get comfortable. So my purse goes on the table, my jacket goes over the couch, my earrings come off and go on the table. Things are just everywhere. So that was the first thing that I wanted to tackle. So the first idea here is to use a coat rack as a purse rack. So you could go and hang up your purse so it doesn't get on the floor or on the table and create a mess. And it's also a great way to display your purses. You can visually see all of the purses that you have and it helps your purses keep their shape. Sometimes if you put them and you stack them on a counter or stack them away, they start to fold over and lose their shape over time. So this kind of kills two birds with one stone. On the way to hanging up my purse, I first stop and remove all of the items that I'm going to need from my purse. So I have these little compartments that I made. So now they're all in these neat organized compartments. I can easily grab them and remember to take them with me when I leave the house. So to make this, you need to get a shoe box, take the lid and line it up to the side of the box and draw a line to mark where you need to cut. Then you wanna cut out two inserts that are going to fit inside of the box to make our compartments. So these should be the width of the box and the height of the box. One of the inserts you want to cut in half. Then you want to cover both the box and the inserts with craft paper. And I find using a spray adhesive makes it a lot easier to do. So you can also paint or spray paint the box if that's easier for you or faster for you. Once everything is covered, then fit your inserts into the box like this, and you can hot glue them into place if you'd like to make them extra secure. Then I made some pretty labels using craft paper and stickers I found from Michaels. You can create whatever divider labels that you want. These are just the four that I went with because these are my four most used items. From there, you can just go ahead, put your items in your nice, pretty organizing box, and you have a really cute, easy display so you don't misplace or forget the items that you need. So I wanted to create one space in my room that I go directly to right when I walk in the door to stay organized and not misplace any of my things. So for this, I'm using a display table that we already had. And the first thing I did was put my most used shoes under the table so that I can quickly access them when I need them. Next, I put my jewelry organizers on here. So when I walk in the door, I can take my jewelry off and not misplace it, which I always tend to do. These are both from Bed Bath & Beyond. I also have a small dish that I'm going to use for my non-hangable earrings, and also this little shell, which I'm using for my stud earrings. Next to this, I put my organizer that we just DIY'd so I can remove these items out of my purse and have them here and nice and organized and not lose track of them. Then I used this cupcake display tray that I found at Ikea to put some of my other important items that I sometimes take with me on the go. So now I have all of these items displayed out and really handy if I need to grab them quickly on the go and throw them in my purse. So here is what I'm calling my command center, all put together. So now this is how things look when I walk in the door. I'll be your I 
tackle organizing my clothes. One major problem area for me is my socks and underwear drawer. It's basically anarchy in this drawer. I can never find anything that I need. So a really easy solution is to create compartments within the drawer to better organize your items. This is a wooden shelf that I found at Michael's for just a few dollars. And you can also use a shoe box or any other box you have, depending on the size that you need. So this is super simple and now I have my socks, underwear, and bras all separated out so they're easy to grab. Another major issue that I have is my closet is so jam-packed with stuff that it's hard for me to ever find the item that I need. So a super easy solution is to get a clothing rack to sort out and display your clothing items. I'm personally using this for my newer and favorite items that I want to be able to keep in mind and easily grab. You can also use this as an area where you would pre-plan out your outfits for the rest of the week so they're all there and ready. The last idea for closet organization is you could go clueless style and use a virtual closet app. So for these, you basically take pictures of your clothes. So you use your phone to pick out and organize your outfits. I will leave a link below to an article I found that lists several different apps you can choose from for both Android and iOS phones, but it's definitely an idea I wanted to throw out there in case you wanted to take your organization to the next level. Can you guys see my dog right here? Okay guys, so that's it for today's video. I hope you liked some of these ideas for different ways you could reorganize your room. If you did like it, give it a thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day and I'll see you guys soon. Wow, looks great, huh? This is beautiful. But uh, wait a minute, once again, I see all your stuff, but honey, where's my, where's my stuff? I don't see my stuff anywhere. No, that is actually not true. I did think about you and I did organize your stuff too. Pretty much your own new special dream closet. So follow me. Hold on, hold on. It's your new closet. Isn't this awesome? Wow, uh, outside in the water heater closet. That's great, babe. Look, it's, you know, in the morning when I come out here to try my clothes on and it's really cold, I got the water heater to heat me up. That's great. And wow, buy all the Christmas decorations. So that's fun. I love it.